Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cheat Code Jiu Jitsu. Jeff White here again. Still working our grapevine grip transition out of the lockdown. Last time we worked on setting the grip up uh, in and of itself. So if you don't know what I'm talking about with grapevine grip, card up at the top. Go check out the last video that we did. See how to set it up and how to sweep from it. And then come back and watch this one. Today, we're going to talk about setting up the most obvious submission from the grapevine grip, which is the triangle choke. Very obvious and easy transition from there because you got not only both of the guys' arms locked down, but you got an overhook in place so you can easily pull the elbow up and you got the other arm pinned so tight up against their chest that it becomes really, really difficult to block the guy's leg from coming around. So, very easy transition to make. You can do it either from guard and do more of a traditional triangle choke, or if for whatever reason that's not working and the guy's just keeping his elbow clamped down on your knee or whatever it is that he's doing, then we can always sweep from there and go to mount, and then we can set the triangle up for the mount in the same way. That's why I told you guys last time it's important to come up with your knee over top of that trapped arm. So let's get at it, triangle choke. So as we were discussing last time, we're gonna set our grapevine grip up. However it is I'm gonna do it, maybe this time I'm trying to drag this leg through. Chris puts his hand there try to block the knee from coming through. I'm gonna take the wrist, lift my knee up to get that off, slide that to the chest, and then take my grapevine grip. Now right here, this is the optimal possible position for taking a triangle, because you can see where if Chris's elbow is either on the ground here, or if he was able to clamp his elbow down on top of my knee, both of those will make the triangle transition difficult. Uh, We'll show you what to do here in a minute, but if I'm able to get this locked in to where Chris's elbow is kind of back like that, this is like gift wrapping a triangle for me. As you can see, there's not a lot he's gonna be able to do with this arm. And that arm with the double wrist lock grip that I've got going on right here, you can't really move that arm a whole lot, so it's hard to stop this from coming through. Now, I roll with a lot of these really stupid guys with these stupid long legs that can just pull this through and fly into an easy triangle. I got hobbit legs, so that doesn't quite work super well for me. So what I'm gonna need to do here is once I start pulling this through, my main thing that I'm looking for is to get past this arm. As long as my knee is anywhere below it, there's always the possibility of him putting some kind of a block in front of it and then shutting my triangle down. So if I'm looking for triangles, step one when I get to the grapevine grip is get that knee in front. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I need to switch my hips because my hips are not really properly aligned for a triangle. So I'm going to push up with that knee and turn to the side. From here, if I've actually got my knee covering that, that's a simple transition that just comes straight around for the triangle. At this point, I've got his hand stuffed past my groin and so that's an easy lock at that point what i want to do from here to finish the triangle is i'm just going to release and then this goes immediately to the head to cover from there you set your triangle choke up however it is that you set it up i've got my own system which will be doing a triangle deep dive coming up before too long but however it is that you get there set your triangle choke up the most important thing though like i said is coming up with this knee on the inside or on the outside covering that and pinching and putting constant pressure so that when i get it out that just becomes an easy transition to the triangle so you got it from another angle lockdown grapevine grip lock push my knee came in front this is going to plant i can either plant here or plant on his hip I've got my knee on the inside of his elbow, so I square him up. That comes around, lock over the shoulder, lock first my broken triangle, hips down, heels down, retract, go to the head, keep the head down, and then set my triangle up, lock it in place. Hands on the head, standard finishing mechanics for a triangle choke. Everything else works pretty much the same. Now that's getting the triangle from guard. As I said, there's some things that he can do that can still make that difficult, even though I've got his hands tied up. And he'll, he's going to do that by basically just putting a block in place in front of my leg that I need to pull through. That is going to work very well as a defense for him because he actually has two blocks 
on my leg, limiting the mobility of my leg. So I've got my grapevine grip in place. So these are the two blocks that he has. Let's just assume that I have the grip in place. Block number one is gonna be his elbow. He can move that in, he can move it around, he can try to get it in front of my elbow and then there's not a whole lot that I can do to pull it out. Block number two is actually the ground because I have limited directions that I can move my leg because my leg is on the ground. So all he's gotta do is just put that on the ground somewhere in front of my knee or actually clamping in on my knee, one of the two, and it makes it extremely difficult for me to move that leg because I have a solid block underneath of it. So assuming that happens, we always have the ability to sweep. And especially if I have guys clamping down on my elbow or on my knee tight with their elbow like that, that little elbow outpost to block the, uh, the butterfly sweep, it doesn't work as well because the elbow is in too tight focusing on blocking the leg. There's absolutely nothing out here. And so what I can do with this is I can either throw my butterfly hook in and get my sweep or I go for my sweep, he sees that I'm trying to sweep and he tries to extend that elbow out and that gets my knee in front. If I don't get my knee in front and he just stays here, then I sweep and I go to the mount. Now we're gonna show this from a couple of different angles, but I came up over the top with my knee above that elbow that was locking me out before. So I now need to go to mounted triangle. So my setup for mounted triangle is I'm keeping my knee tight against his head. I'm gonna come up here. I need to keep this overhook tight and keep this all together. From here, I'm going to lift up the head, swing this around his head, and then clamp down. I've still got a really tight overhook on it. Now, to make this work, I rocked this way before. Now I'm going to rock to the other side, lifting up on the overhook that I have. And now what I want to do is I want to turn the corner and move around. That's an easy transition. Get my triangle. And with my tiny hobbit legs, he's got nothing that he can do at that point. There's just no room left. So guys with tighter or longer legs, they're leaving a little bit more room there. Your finish at that point is going to be to sit your hips back down on top of your partner. Once you sit back, it'll tighten everything up and usually get the finish. So another angle. So grapevine grip. Chris is blocking my regular triangle entry. I'm not able to get it. So I slide this down, I take my butterfly hook, come up over the top and you see that just sort of naturally passes that elbow down over my knee. Do not leave room here because if I leave room and I'm not tight, Chris can always take that elbow back out and put it back around. But it's harder for him to clamp that now because that post of the ground is gone. So I clamp down, post, come up, pull the head, Bend that around. I'm gonna go light here, so I'm not clamping quite as much because of my short legs, but once I get here, I've still got the tight overhook grip. Back this way, and turn the corner, lock my triangle in place. For me, that's usually enough. You can probably see that I do have an arm bar there as well in either direction. But if you got longer legs and you got more space here, sit back. And then I usually finish the triangle. So, you can get the triangle from guard, you can get the triangle from mount. There's a few different options for finishes there that are there, but it's the transition into that triangle position that's the most important. It's tough to block, and usually if they're able to block it from that position, it's gonna give you a sweep. And then if you can sweep, you can hit it from mount, or worst case scenario, you're just in mount. So. Play around with that, see if you like that transition. Still got another one uh, coming up for you ne next week or next video that I think you'll like a lot. Be another good submission from there. Be a really fun one to come back and check it out. Make sure to hit the like button if you like the video and you got something out of it. Helps grow the channel, helps us out a lot. And subscribe to that channel. You'll get a notification next week when we upload the video with the next submission. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.